Hey guys, Tom here with another Tuesday update where I give you a preview of what the team is working on with the development of the game. Uh, this is a test that I'm going to use to show off today's video. So I have a little bed and the test turns into night, people get sleepy, and that's going to give me the data I need to show off our scoreboard. So this is an overview uh, score screen that you'll use to measure your progress and how well you're doing in the game. Let's sort of scoot over so we can see people sleeping. Hi guys. This is coming along pretty well. Stephanie's been working very hard on it and uh, let me walk you through it. So your town is a title and the title will improve as you play the game. Uh, right now it's the fair camp of West Hartville. Uh, of course you name your town yourself. These banners give you an overview for your population. So this right or uh, left-hand banner is the number of workers you have, the middle banner is the number of crafters, and the far right one is the number of military units. Uh, net worth is a measure of everything that you have in your town. So as you build new buildings, accumulate wealth and possessions, this number will go up. These bottom three scores are uh, measure the happiness of your citizens. So this overall happiness is kind of an average of all the other metrics that we have. And so far we have two implemented. Uh, your food score, which is basically are your people starving or are they fat and happy? Uh, as you make more kinds of food and better food and as people are well fed, this will go up. Your shelter score is a measure of how well you're doing at keeping your citizens protected from the elements and sort of the wilderness out there. So does everyone get to sleep in a bed? Are they sleeping inside or outside? Um, things like that. Um, we have ideas for more metrics, like how well you're doing at protecting your citizens from danger, things like that. But so far, these are the ones we have implemented. So these are sort of a one to 10 scale. 10's great, one's not so great. And to help you understand why your score is higher or lower, we have this notices board. So all of your townspeople have their own individual journal. Uh, when something significant happens to them, they write something down in their journal. And this screen is an aggregate of everyone's journal. Uh, and we've split it up into two columns. There's praises and there's grapes. So today, nothing really praiseworthy happened. Nobody's, nobody's happy. But they've got some complaints. Both Raven and Jess are complaining that they're hungry because there's no food in this world, in this tiny world I've created. And as a result, my, uh, my food score went down. And this is just one day. So as the days go by in the game, this book will get more pages and you'll be able to sort of flip through and see really quickly, what are my people struggling with and, and how can I help them and how can I do better? So the idea is that now that we can measure sort of progress and this overall sense of happiness in your town, we can use that eventually to drive content. So if your people are really, really happy, then uh, in your town has a lot of sort of worth, then maybe more people want to join your town and that's how you'll get new citizens. Also, we can write customized scenarios for you know little celebrations that happen in town or if people are starving, then maybe something particularly dire happens, people are, get sick more often, you get a plague, stuff like that. This is the mechanism by which we'll drive all that. Now that we have the data and we can collect it and analyze it and all that stuff, we can push RPG style content to a simulation game. That's it for now. Thanks for listening and watching. And be sure to check out stonehearth.net. That's our development blog if you want to know more about the game. And I will talk to you next week.